Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. This is my 95% completed media room. As you can see, I don't have a seating yet. Um, this is temporary seating. I have a sofa coming. It's not going to be home theater seats. It doesn't work in this room. It's too small, and um, and the sofa works better for my family. Three sound panels back here. They're three inches, and I have uh, two sound panels for the first reflection points. As you can see, it makes a huge difference. Um, definitely better clarity. I have these two sound panels here, uh, three inches. They are covering up my windows, right and left. This one, I'm not sure what I'll do with this window yet, but I'll figure it out in time. I have these, these two right here, They're, these are six inches. Also the, the side. Um, I took measurements of them, uh, REW, they do make a difference. Sending q towers with the raw two tweeters. My, this is my dual um, center cue stick. Um, I plan on maybe upgrading the bigger center channel that they have, but I don't think I need it in this little room. Um, it is uh, pretty much 10 by 15. Okay. Standing on the 18 inch stands. Stannis uh, steel stands. Um, I do have these isolation pads. Um, I don't remember what they're called, but they're, they're supposedly what are the best isolation pads available. I also have them down here also my towers um, and I ran my speaker cables directly a break in between um, you know some people have it where there's a panel that connected from the inside and you make another connection from the outside I, I don't like having multiple connections um, I like this better um, just it might not look as good but it's definitely performance wise it's it's better I have this sub here this is my um, the rhythmic uh, f18 um, Again, I took measurements, REW. Um, this is probably one of the best spots around here. 18, um, 65 inch C8 LG OLED. Um, eventually, I'll probably get some bigger. I've thought about projection, but that's, I might not. I might not do projection. Uh, I like the, the black levels and the, the peak brightness of, um, you know, of a, a, a regular standard TV. But of course, you don't get the size. Um, I might eventually upgrade to 77 inch, maybe, but that's that's in time. These are my wide right and wide left. I force my left and right and my center channel. I have four ceiling speakers. Right there. And I have uh my rear surrounds. Four rear surrounds. Um I paint matches right here. I love this gray color, actually. I painted the grill also to match it up. Um, painted the ceiling. It's a very, very light gray. Um, and I also painted that color match too. I installed these four lights right here. Two separate um, switches. So when I'm watching TV, I can turn off the front and I can sit there without any glare. Uh, the way I place these, you know, towards the back corner. So when you're seating, you don't see no glare in the, on the, the screen. And it's also dimmable too. So it's pretty, it's pretty sweet, you know. Even the, even this this side is a uh, demo. Yeah. So. Um, let me show you my equipment. Equipment in here. This is my uh, Panasonic UB820, my 4K player, my um, Cambridge uh, CXC. It's a transport. So it doesn't have a DAC. Um, this is my um, computer, pretty much home theater PC. Have it in a fractal um, design case. That's a pretty slim case, it's nice. Um, wireless keyboard right here. Um, I have my Xbox controller there. Um, I have microphones here, and I have a, a little uh, mixer for my karaoke. So I, I hook up my karaoke from this to this, and I, I YouTube it. You know, my, my family is uh, Asian. We love singing karaoke. And uh, this is my Emotiva XMC2. Um, excellent so far. It's been working since the new firmware. It's been working pretty damn good. Um, my Outlaw 7075 amp. And this one here is running my. Um, this is a seven channel, but I'm only using four channels for the the Atmos. This is my um, Outlaw um, model 5000X. This is the new model with it. XLR. So um, these are running my my four um, 
backs around and this is my um my pride and joy right here my the class ct uh i think it's ct 5300 uh, i believe that's model number um it's a five channel for this one here i'm running um, the front three and also the two um right uh, my right and left wide on this um this is the rack that i build this is my rack here. I have all for my movies, my D, uh, CDs, DVDs. I have, uh, let's see, I have um, DVDs up there. I have uh, Blu-rays down here. And I have 4K movies right here. I love my 4K movies. I have my CDs down here. Um, I forgot what these speakers are called. <laughs> my in-walls. Um, if I remember, I'll put them down in the description. There are um, excellent speakers. They're on clearance. On um, on eBay, um, I gotta put a link, but um, they're awesome, awesome um, surround speakers. That's pretty much it. Oh, let's not forget my Harmony remote. I love this thing. Seriously, it takes forever to to, um, to program, but once you program it in, it just works absolutely perfect. Um, a little dock right here. That's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoy. Any questions, comment, comment below. Take care. Bye.